What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Tubby Time. Hope you're all doing splendid today. Today we are staying warm inside and making an easy tuna salad recipe and we're putting it on a club sandwich. Let's get into it. Do you ever feel like you have one of those days where you're just a mess? can't figure out anything. I I don't know, it took me like an hour to get all the ingredients together for this, but don't worry, it doesn't take an hour to actually make this recipe, B believe me. Trust me on this. All right, tuna salad. We've done chicken salad before, it's very similar, except one's you know white meat and one's fish. But we're just gonna be using canned tuna. We have three cans of it here. And this is uh, the Kirkland brand, albacore, canned tuna, solid, whatever, in water. Now we use the water, version because when you're mixing it with different ingredients and mayo you don't want the you, you don't want oil so if you're just gonna like eat it for whatever purpose it, you can do the oil thing but we, we're using water because water and oil and all that don't really mix so if we're mixing like mayo or we're mixing different ingredients it, it will become a mess and we don't want that plus it's gonna be greasy so that's gross so we're gonna do this with all the cans let's just open them up be careful of the water around it and now we're gonna come over to the sink where we have all of our mixing bowls and all that good stuff because Kayla made a cake today. We're just going to drain it out, holding the lid like so. Get as much of the water out as you can. Then once we're done with that, we'll take our medium-sized bowl. God damn it. There we go. We'll throw it in there. And of course, Kayla used the rubber spatula, so I'm going to have to settle with a spoon to get all the rest of the chunks out. All right, two more to go. Shit. Okay, now that we got all of our tuna in this bowl here. As you can see, it's very um, it's very dry. It looks very dry, which is, is good. We don't want it to be like oily and greasy and disgusting. So, so I'm just going to grind this all up, or try to at least. And if you're wondering, no, this is not for one sandwich. We're meal prepping, sort of. So we're going to make one sandwich, but this will be for our lunches for the week. All right. That looks pretty good. All right, let's start with our main ingredient, mayo. And this we just add till we think we're uh, in good shape. I'll do two, I'll do three spoonfuls to start. Mix that up. It's all about what you want and how mayo-y I guess you want it, but at least you want it to stick together. So, you know, add the minimum amount to make it chunky and forming, and then do what you want after that. Definitely gonna need some more. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice and formed together. Next, we're gonna add just a little bit of relish. This is sweet. I prefer dill, but we don't have dill, so sweet it is. We don't want this to be too overpowering either. I'm gonna add a little more. Ooh, that might be too much, we'll see. Next, I got Dijon mustard. Now, usually I use lemon juice. I don't have any lemon juice, so I'm just gonna add a little Dijon, give it a little bit of a bite. And I add Dijon into my chicken salad when I make it too, so it's actually very good. But typically, yes, I would use lemon or something like that. Of course, we don't have any. You don't want too much of this stuff, but it does give a little bite. Now, as far as our dry ingredients go, obviously, we're going to add some nice coarse ground fresh black pepper. And this is just to taste. And we'll add a pinch of salt. Now, typically, like I do with my chicken salad, I would add fresh celery and onion. I wouldn't mix it in because then it gets very watery in a container if you're storing it. So I would cut it up separate. But me, <laughs> I'm not prepared. So we're just going to have to substitute something. So... I'm gonna be using onion powder and celery seed. Is it as good? No, probably not. But it does give that, mm, that flavor. So celery seed, we don't want too much of, cause that sort of weird, it will get stuck in your teeth. So I probably put like a teaspoon of that and then a teaspoon of the onion powder as well. Like I've said in past videos, I prefer the granulated stuff and I'm trying to get rid of this crap. And lastly, we're gonna use some garlic powder. You could use fresh garlic, but I don't know why you would. It doesn't seem right to me. We're pretty much using a teaspoon of each of those dry ingredients. The salt, pepper to taste. The rest, do what you want. And remember, you don't have to follow recipes, you know, exactly the way they're supposed to be. You can substitute things. You can do whatever. It's your recipe. You do what you want. Hence why I'm not prepared and substituting things. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what we're left with. I want to give it one test before I put it in the fridge. Very good. I'm just gonna add a little bit more mayo. 
I'm just going to add a little bit more relish and just a touch of Dijon. There we go. That's better. Nice and chunky. Looks hot. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw this in the fridge for about an hour. You don't have to do that, but the longer you let it sit in the fridge, the better the flavors will be mending together. So we're going to do that while we work on our other stuff. Now, because a club isn't a club without fries, I'm going to throw a single serving into my air fryer. I'm going to turn that on and we'll do 400 for 15 minutes. Should be good to go. If you haven't seen our air fryer video, please check that out after this one. I'll put a link. So now we transfer over to the stove top and we have our cast iron skillet heating up on a medium heat. What I have here is some bacon that I attempted to cook on a flat top earlier. Now that was gonna be part of this video. However, it was extremely windy out. You couldn't hear anything I was saying. And I just wanted to come back in the house. <laughs> I was getting very annoyed. So I have this cooked like partially through. It, it's cooked all the way through, like it's safe to eat, but I like my bacon crispy. So I'm actually just gonna throw it in the skillet to crispen it, crispen, crisp it, yeah, yeah, it up a little bit more, and then we'll throw it on our club. You know, I'm just gonna throw it in now because I'm impatient. That'll render down nicely. Real quick, let's throw some Tony Chatteries on our fries. Stuff's amazing. Good enough. All right, so next I'm just gonna cut up some lettuce. Well, yeah, lettuce. This is lettuce, guys, believe me. Thin slices of tomato, how's that sound? That sounds better. Ooh, that one's a little thick. <laughs> that looks good. Next, I just got a ball of lettuce here. I'm just gonna rip off some pieces that I might want. I'll see what I'm gonna use. I just like doing this, like ripping off pieces. I don't know about everyone else, but I think it's much easier than just cutting it up. If you wanna use minced lettuce, that's fine. Now we're just keeping an eye on our bacon. It's getting there, still on a medium heat. Like I said, you can eat this right now if you like this gross, soggy bacon, that's fine. I like crispy, so. What you can also do if you have one, you can use one of these presses. I'm just gonna take it, pull it out a little bit. Put it down like that. Just let it sit there in a pile. All right, now all we have to do is get our buns prepped. Not buns, bread, I guess. All right, so a club is typically three pieces of bread. Yay, there we go. I'm just using potato bread, which you know I love, that's fine. You can use white, you can use sourdough, whatever you want. Do it, do it up. Bacon's definitely uh, pretty much there. Definitely pretty much there, that made total sense. All right, looks scrumptious. Now let's, ooh, come back, there you go. Let's leave some of that bacon grease in the skillet. Oh, I'm getting it everywhere. And we'll throw this on our bacon plate. Now I'm not sure how fat you guys are at home, but this is how fat I am. I'm gonna take my bread and let it soak in this bacon grease. Pretty much the same as using butter, except it's better. Let's let that toast down a little bit. Dang, fries are done. They can sit in the air fryer while we're finishing up. All right, I'm just gonna flip them over now. Oh, this one's really greasy. Whew. So typically I'd use American cheese for this, but once again, we don't have any, so I'm gonna use some cheddar. I'm not gonna put that much on that one piece, but that's all we got, so you work with what you got. And let's do this piece as well. I'm putting them on two pieces only, just the middle and the bottom. Does it matter which one is which? No, not really. Oh yeah. The greasy one is done. I mean, the cheese isn't like as melted yet, but if you can see the underside there. Oh, that one's done. And that one's good enough too. All right, so let's construct this thing finally. I'm gonna figure out which one I want for the bottom and I'm gonna go, I'll go this one. Seems the sturdiest. You don't have to add a little bit more mayo, but I'm going to. Actually, you know what? I'll make that my lettuce and tomato piece. So I'll just do that now. Lay down some lettuce. We'll do a nice heaping chunk of tomato. Then we'll lay some bacon down. Now we will add our tuna salad. Want some good spoonfuls of this. We don't want to eat it all because Kayla has to have it, so. We'll throw that like so. We will put this one down. Press it down together. And there you have it. Now let's do this restaurant style. So we'll cut into it in half like so. Oh my God, that looks so good. And we'll take some toothpicks because you can't have a club without toothpicks. 
stick them in. And now what we can do, we'll push them off to the side. We'll throw our fries right in the center, because why not? And then we will rest our little thingamabobs, samples, whatever you will, on top. You know, why not throw some pickles right on the side? For good measure. Can't have a sandwich without pickles at a restaurant, right? And look at that finished product. Looks just as good as any restaurant. It's probably better, actually. So let's give it a taste test and see what we're working with here. Oh my God. I'll tell you right now, that bacon fat makes it so good. Like the bread's crispy, but it's not like, like you can tell it's, there's some flavor in there. That's so good. So good. This is honestly probably one of my favorite meals to get during the summer, especially after like a long day of golf. It's, it's light, but it's filling at the same time, if that makes sense. It's definitely one of my favorite things ever. That and chicken salad. I could eat both of these things all day, every day for the rest of my life, along with like pizza or something. But that's all we got for you today, people. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. If it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button, like our videos, comment on what you want to see us make in the future. Go out and make yourself a tuna club sandwich. Delicious. Until next time, everyone. Thank you again for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tubby.